was in the desert discarding waste for some reason. I woke up maybe 20 minutes ago. Tired as hell. Got the finish thing up. Put that there. Make sure everything's loading well. All right, we're in English. This game I've been excited for since I found out about it like two months ago. Fairly recently. This is important. Or is it just the loading screen? It looks important. The UFO coming over to the city. Something, I don't fucking know. Oh, it's SCP. Oh, there we go. I'm Carl. Carl Astana. A few months ago, I was preparing my dis dissertation in a restaurant on L Street. The pies there were rather to my liking. I became the what? I can't read that fast. It's seeing that they were only empty tables in the restaurant instead of a man. Excuse me, I don't believe I know with... I know you is something I can... Excuse me, I don't believe I know you is anything I can help you with. Without answering my question, the man continued talking to himself. Well, look, so here you are, your graduating student, clearly in your job, huh? Well, it just so happens that we have a job for you. The man paused to add emphasis. A mysterious, mysterious job. Wonderful one, too. Oh, I got a voicemail from these spam people. Yeah, no, I'm good. Thank you, I know. Here's a wonderful, huh? Sounds interesting. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. He then hands me a business card. Both sides of the business cards are black, with three letters printed neatly on the side. SCP. Click to open the envelope. Let's enjoy the SCP Foundation. Foundation highly values your knowledge and expertise, and we firmly believe that you are one of the one we've been searching for. We assume the position of assistant archivist in the archive department group three. Director Chuck Aru. Error? Chuck Error will be your superior. Please go to the security office on sector Delta. I don't know what the symbol is. Since the beginning of civilization, the world has been full. Motion blur off. We all hate motion blur. Halloween is low. Audio. Blue high, I guess. Of unknown things. Due to their existence, the balance of mankind's peaceful life has been upset. However, no matter how advanced our technology, no matter how great our scientific breakthroughs, there will always be anomalies that cannot be explained. We don't know where they come from, or what their purpose is. These questions plague mankind, and affect our daily lives. It's because of this that we founded the SCP What the fuck Foundation. is that thing? There's a giant chicken. To containing anomalous items, individuals, and phenomena. The SCP Foundation is committed to maintaining the normalcy of the world so that people may live free of fear. While ordinary what people the live fuck? in the sunlight, we must fight anomalies 
in the shadow. We must prevent them from being exposed to the public so that people may live in a room. What the fuck is that? We secure, we contain, we protect. I want to do one thing. We'll increase the game volume. Secure, contain, and protect. VR up right now. I just saw that on my dashboard. Very slow movement speed. Level one card. Nine fourteen. I fourteen. My office. Hey, look, a little plague doctor. That is not. Anything else? Nah. All right. Swipe. Verify was a legal ID, login environment is secure, yada yada. Massachusetts Institute of Technology. I have agreed to the SP regulations. Where you start your work with less less environment. Each day your screen will sign to the mission module. Where there's a new task, the 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 button will blink red to remind you. I can't fucking read today, Jesus. Eight, yada yada, trainings, effective means of information sharing within the foundation. Materials, create super material. Critically needs to be discovered. Have the mission go again to the information gathering as we can go smoothly. Damn close to the time, luckily I know how to swim. The lad chucked in, send me there, I can't. Send the feeling of being turned to water, okay, I think I caught a cold too. Good morning, all good morning. Morning. Remember today, Carl. How much is it? Morning, everyone. Carl, I. What did I say the last name was? Astana? Carl Astana. You can call me Carl. I graduated from MIT with a double major in biology and philosophy. Welcome. My will. MIT. Ooh, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, how good here is it was me or a sense of hidden jealousy? MIT's not popular here. Sorry, so in one of the argue department cardinals and nonsense coming out of his mouth. Oh, if you forgot about Jonathan. Who's Jonathan? Half hour or Sanford or whatever, and it was still mad at you, but it's the same here. For more last night, you just created a house full of it, being here to speed through everything, going academic life, you got a company, you went through, it was inevitable. I think it's good dealing with paperwork, possibly the. I lost the left hand because he breached protocol and touched SCP 247. He was giving me a 6 if I come two days ago. He didn't know too much. I don't want to recall these details. Like I can't even meet him or stake anymore. Not reason to he was a former Supreme employee and lol. Hey Stuart, no one wants to talk about these boring children cartoons. All right, that was an accident. Accident? Who cares? 
can choose graduate with a higher consumer rate than class D personnel. This is just a report. I'm going to replace the farm with release station. Rick and Morty is not a children's cartoon. And I think you're scaring Carl. Chuck Roo. If any of you are planning on getting some serious work done, please do me a favor and just shut the hell up. So as long as we're in Arkansas, we're like these people and just probably spending their time gossiping all day. Arkansas missions. Got it. Don't push yourself too hard. Stuart. Got a boss. Alright, give me mine. Okay, so I'll class A archive must be handed. What's my job director? Should I do the boss? Review or it's kinda of like a modify all existing containment archives. We don't need to hurry, young man. You need to attend to do employees onboard training first before you can work at a facility facility. Keep an eye on that boss. I want to be given a chance to work here at the Arcade Department. Please know what you think. You must have been in your past self and start again with, from zero if you hope to learn to survive here. I want to take care of you. You must demonstrate your own ability. I just should. I just said director. You will suffer, Carl. Prepare for your bags to vomit. He's just messing with you. Remember Carl? Stay sane and always in awe. Click to enter the training. Training is about to begin. I have high hopes for this game. Jason Carter is a death row inmate. In exchange for clemency, he has agreed to work with the SCP Foundation for 30 days. of his work, he will be a free man. Jason Carter is now D-503. Day one. Oh, my Jason Clemens, or whatever the fuck his name was. Press. Okay, cool. Do I need this too? I have a hazmat suit and a radar gun. Art style looks cool. The little paint splotches. I get better in detail the closer you get. Agent Cater? Cater? Agent Cater. D-503 was given no clear instruction of the task to be completed. He must find them out for himself. Collect the waste. Petrol can. Part of the enclosure of energy is one of the most stubborn pieces of waste. Alright, we'll go to this one. We're gonna loop up and around.
tire. Tire filled with sand, after fuels become the main form of transportation, just for tires begin to grow in numbers. the desert discarding waste for some reason. Well, that's not good. I don't think that was supposed to happen. But we made it. Perfect landing. This is a little nuclear waste container. Damaged syndrome. You know, with a danger sign on it, having one suspected hazardous liquid from leaking is discarded upon completion of the mission. Move to the incinerator. I got more things to collect. And I flipped the car again, that was pretty fun. I'm gonna complete this job to its fullest, I'm not gonna half ass it. Rusted iron pipe. An iron pipe whose value is in weight is too rusty to turn. It could have been recycled, but humans still chose to throw it away. Why does it feel like we're in an apocalypse or something? It's like talking about everything in the past tense. Like once tires became available, uh, humans could have. Like, I get they're all old products, but did something happen? Like, it obviously can't be a future scenario. There's got to be some type of SCP thing going on. We roadblock of the training of their support structure is extremely stable, even if it cannot withstand the erosion caused by the desert. Maybe we're in some alternate reality. Can I go? Hello? There we go. Ah! That worked out. Well, I just had to hit a uh, load screen. I have to confirm. Yeah, it looks about right. Yeah, it looks about right. This was D-503's first day of work. My first day. SCP protocol mandates that D-503 now undergo a psychological evaluation. Level 2 mental test. Please drag the left and graphic and square for the whole square area. Smart boy. Let's go. Oh, there's another one. Fuck. Assuming that's not it. Goes right here. This goes right here. We put you right here. Uh, it doesn't work. Okay, I'm not as smart as I thought. I'm not that smart of a boy. No, just kidding. Yes! Fourth place.
Hopefully the system will settle the contract time. 29 days. I'll take food. Borgor. Borgor. Can I take Borgor? Oh, uh -huh. what the fuck, man? It's still good. Exactly, it's still delicious. Bedtime. time. This was the first day D-503 psychological data was collected. You're probably wondering, how can this job earn freedom for a death row inmate? I want to know what the fuck he's doing. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham from Site 83. Welcome to today's training conference. Today, I'm going to share with you a little project I've been working on called SCP-7457. The desert you saw just now is SCP-7457. Okay, cool. D-503 is a volunteer who we invited to help us learn more about this desert. Prior to the Foundation's involvement with SCP-7457, 329 people went missing in this area. As a precaution, we have introduced lockdown measures as we attempt to find the cause of these disappearances. As everyone here is new to the Foundation, it will be good for you to learn about SCP-7457. Let me explain how it works. Before we get started, are there any questions? Dr. Ham, I'm Will Barton. Third Special Squad, Site 86. Hello, Will. Before I came here, I thought I had a basic understanding of the Foundation. I've heard of these anomalies, but only in terms of human anomalies. I had no idea that SCP-7457 was a desert. How do we begin to make sense of this? That's a good question, Will. All the unexplained phenomena we are monitoring are being labeled anomalies. Human anomalies regional anomalies, artifact anomalies, and various other phenomena beyond our control. The work of the Foundation is to isolate these anomalies and prevent the public from, shall we say, experiencing them? Okay, next question. Hello, Dr. Ham. I'm Mark Harris. A I feel like this game actually gets a In the description video, of the SCP and what the fuck goes the on with the SCP. Because the other, the now main one, uh, containment bridge, gets you a feel okay, of how the SCP feels. What I can tell you now like, is that you know, the big main ones, 106, 179, uh, 049, whatever, whatever they are. Just know they give you a feel. Or they but this one feels like their own rules. This one's more like perhaps you'll understand uh, what, what I mean once uh, we finish watching the what's video. What's going on in the facility? Okay, shit. let's move on. Day eight. The first week was fairly normal. However, there was an interesting occurrence on the eighth day. I want to grab this first. Freedom! Alright, what was the interesting occurrence? Did we find a body or was there nothing out there? It might be a body. I think it's a body. Oh, it's night time. Oh, this art style looks so nice at night. Can I go? Is this the anomaly? The truck doesn't work? Oh, there we go. I to reset it. Yes. Oh, that's my little house thingy. You can do it. You can do it. 
This truck has weird driving. Every now and then it just stops. barrel iron bucket Protein liquid inside is highly corrosive what was so interesting on the eighth day was it a body or was there just an anomalous thing that happens Also, the truck has no weight to it, seeming how heavy it is. Is that a piano? A giant harmonica? No, it's a suitcase. Or a... Yeah, a AC. The air conditioner, human... Modern human beings cannot live without air conditioner due to global warming. You have to use spray on and air conditioner also directly cause global warming. Thick black cable that is wound too tightly to see what's inside. It is much heavier than it looks, and nobody knows why. It takes a lot of effort to carry. Ooh. I found the anomalous thing. Some black cables. Not as cool as a body, but... Oh, my truck's freaking out. Nah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Why are you doing that? Why do you keep going to the side? Uh, yep, everything's good. D503 had completed his task. However, he did not realize that he had already encountered his first anomaly. Yes, what's up with the black spindles? What does it mean? Alright, time for this. Alright, we're gonna speed on this. Let's see if it was a triangle. Triangle is triangle. Triangle. Please continue. Equation equals five. 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 Go! Aw, oh, fuck me. Fourth again. I'm so pissed. Hey, I gotta press the button. I don't have food tonight. Yo, what up, Game Saint? Hope you're doing alright. That night, D503's psychological data showed abnormal fluctuations. How did it show abnormal fluctuations? I did pretty well. Analysis tells us that D503 is dreaming. I would assume so when you're sleeping. Sleeping does cause dreams. Unfortunately, though. We have no way of knowing what he dreamed of that just, night. Just ask. Why, why, why not ask? Which is like, hey, yo, 503. You're stuck in here with us. You gotta do what we say. What'd you dream about? And he's like, well, I want to go back on death row, so... Dream of, a, you know, an oceanside beach some mountain in this area. It's very dark for some reason. Grim. Grim setting. A random box? Telephone box? 
a random red telephone box on the cliffside overlooking the ocean. That is what I dreamed about. And you're like, alright, cool, now we know. And you're all over mystery. Like, you never asked. The eighth day marked a significant turning point. The start of SCP-7457. I don't think it did. On D503. Like, Are yeah, the black the black cables happen, but they're like, Hello, oh, it's Dr. psychological Hale. data I'm fucked Spencer up. Jones I'm like, from the it, it really did not. It, it Hello, was Spencer. seemed perfectly fine. It's you just think he had a bad dream and never asked him about it. Of this trash. If you wanted to monitor his psychological response to SCP-7457, why not just leave him out in the desert? Why assign him these tasks when there are already psychological evaluations taking place? I got a question. Our analysis has indicated that SCP-7457 produces a new cluster of trash every 8 minutes and 37 seconds. If waste collection is not done regularly, all that trash may soon flow into our world. Okay. It is worth Makes noting, sense. though, that the quantity of waste created here pales in comparison to the amount produced by humans. That also makes sense. However, it still has the potential to become a significant problem in the future. By assigning these tasks to D-503, we can monitor his reactions while also containing the trash. There is another reason, but we will get to that one later. Is it not the case that the Foundation is exaggerating the importance of a minor issue before the issue is fully understood? <sighs> okay, everyone. I must emphasize that behind us is the general public, who are wholly unaware of any of this. Being meticulous and maintaining a serious attitude is essential at the SCP Foundation. Okay. Any oversight yeah, or Spencer. underestimation of the enemy may Spencer, result you're... in disaster. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Ham. I understand. Oh, now you understand. I'll be get fucking Good. terminated now. Let's move on. Same with that other guy. Assume you ask some questions. Just understand what you're doing and move on. Became most obvious on day 15 of the test. Day 15. I Due wonder if I have to collect trash. We were only able to track his movements after recovering data from his radar. I wonder if it we're picking up more trash. Day, perhaps the worst. Even for a death row inmate. Day 15. Oh, there's something in the sand. Oh, hey, my radar. D-503 found a radar that perfectly resembled his own. World War II type, a lot of abrasion on the display as well as the handle. However, Fear isn't working anymore. Didn't seem to think much of it. Now, why would you? There's random trash. You don't gotta think much of it. There's random trash. Black Spindle. Am I the Black Spindle? I, I'm the Black Spindle, isn't, am I? I can see. Dude, fucking tight to see what's inside. I think I'm the, in the Black Spindle. It's very humanoid. No, I wouldn't say humanoid shape, humanoid length. And also, if my radar is here, it, it very well could likely be me. Let's go! I was not driving that slow. I was gonna blaze through that door. Persistent adverse physiological reactions proved to be a challenge for D503. No, watch. I'm gonna blaze through these. I'm gonna blaze through these psychological. Fucking test. But then he encountered an incident. I did? Well, he did? Technically, me? A sandstorm. D503 walked in the sandstorm for a long time, but he couldn't seem to find his way back. Okay. 
are gonna get interesting. Hey, wires. Let's just let's just haul the weird wires that's been giving us random things. I run super slow. This is my house, right? It's not gonna be like a trap. And I, like, I explode or some shit the second I touch the door handle. Let's hope not. I choose life. Oh, I made it. Oh, so this, is, this isn't mine. Oh, this is definitely not mine. Unless I did some remodeling. And I forgot about it. Hello? Good, sir. Did you remodel my home? I'm back to the phone box. Not red anymore. Oh, he's gone. Lie. What do you mean, lie? I don't lie. Telephone box is what of significance? Have you ever experienced a call from an unknown voice? <gasps> What significance has for the telephone box? I'm still alive? Approximately 13 hours later, a visibly trembling D-503 returned to Site 8. We immediately performed a psychological I'm gonna evaluation. Pass it. I'm gonna pass it. Watch this shit. It's our test. Please connect. Major fluctuations uh, can now be observed in D-503's physiological data. Well, you aren't letting me try. I could have aced it. The results of the psychological evaluation were so troubling. We had to abort the mission. Yeah, fuck that monitor. D-503 was able to break away from the Foundation's control. Well, why do you guys have a giant hole in the wall? He has seen the test results of other level D personnel were analyzed at SCP-7457. That's right. None of the level D personnel at SCP-7457 have ever been able to leave this desert. Get the fuck out of here! I'm gonna be the first! Oh god. Oh god. We're fine, just keep going. Oh. There's a lot of trash all of a sudden. Humans 
humans often believe that their fate is in their own hands. That all choices come from their own free will. They I'll don't just realize lie. that we humans form only a small part of this world. Out there, in the unknown world, we are as insignificant as a grain of sand. That doesn't say insignificant, that's a significant. They messed up on the subtitling there. Hey, it's the phone box. Is that it's the phone box of the hive mind? Is that what it is? Love the art style of this game. No clue what the fuck the SCP does here. It makes trash and like fucking has black cables controlled by a telephone box. Screenshots. And a thumbnail. Oh, adios. I get picked up by another person. Yeah. That's why there's the muffled screaming. Yeah, let me burn it. I thought so in the beginning. But I was like, yeah. So technically, it was a body. I was right. It was a body. Oh, I knew it from the beginning. It was a body. Smart, my smart cookie. Forty-eight days later, experiment participant D seven twenty two found the radar that it belonged to D five oh three. The radar was thirty one miles away from the waste treatment facility. All the data we have came from this radar. People entering SCP seventy four fifty seven will suffer varying degrees of psychological stress within an acute period. It manifests as a range of neurological and mental disorders, as well as severe and unexplained hallucinations. Okay. So far, not one participant so far, has left the desert. I love this game. The Foundation has tested 31 Level D personnel in an area spanning 2,267 square miles. Our testing continues. When you work for the Foundation, you will face various anomalies. I'm gonna get to the some interesting can kill stuff. You, some may drive Show me crazy, 049. And some will make you feel that living is worse than death. Let this 049. be very clear. SCP-7457 is just a taste of what you will face in the future. Before joining the Foundation, you were all leaders in your respective fields and industries. Researchers, special forces, FBI agents, national security experts. Well, SCP does not care how smart you are, how accomplished you are. It doesn't matter to them how many doctorates and titles you have. You are no different from helpless ants when confronted with these anomalies. Remember this. It is the most important advice you will receive. Do not take risks. You will die. You are not as special as you think you are. If you encounter an anomaly, put your pride and curiosity aside. Run. Well, what if it's anomaly because 999? Nine, nine, nine. Nine? How many God nines is it? I don't know. The fucking tickle here. monster. It's actually nice. Friendly. Welcome to the foundation, rookies. I'm Dr. Raymond Ham, and this ends the first class of our employee induction program. Cool. I had fun. What next? It was ended. Please add your comments. Forces a range appropriately. Lecture was qualified. Lecture was smooth. News punctual. Mm. 
Green Jacku is an instance at home like Jonathan. Submit. Hiya, Carl. How do you feel? I feel a little uncomfortable. Anyone got an aspirin? I feel a little uncomfortable. Carl, that was only the beginning. Learn to use it, live with it. I got it. And? Everyone, he wants to teach something. Carl, live with it. Come on, Stuart. I think you'll feel much better. Let me just start getting into the stuff. In any case, all we're going to do on is Carl. Smile. Past hour has been torture. I don't know how he's managed to hold on. I messed up during the training session. I jumped off a cliff, fell into icy water, and choked hard. Uh, I recall it is because I've no memory of ever visiting cliffs or waterfalls, but it was also real. I can taste it in my mouth. The foul taste of the river water, but in any case, my first day at the foundation, I gotta go to the cafeteria and get something to eat. Maybe it'll make my stomach feel better. Did I go to the cafeteria? Zoe? Again? Who do I get my first file today? Stuart, I get my first file. I'm gonna get it. Hey, hey Chuck? I'm gonna send the, f the field work again. Someone was wrong with 74% of the other departments went to provide support, so we need to take on more field work. So we said our department should be renamed Relief Station. Stop complaining, Gent. Carl, how do you feel now? Sir Director, I'm ready for a new job. Might be confident. First mission, Carl. Read the archives and organize them according to the requirements. I must task at hand, go and finish it. Give it to me, boss. Good luck, Carl. I got this. I can do this. One thing, MIT boy. Relief all the regulations. Do not act in your own without authorization. Thanks, I got it. This is my first mission. Well, beloved, fucking Stuart. All right. Enter data regarding the investigation reports into the archive system on the right. Seven hundred one Euclid containment procedures description. Click text with a red underline. After clicking, after clicking, the data dragging effect will be activated. Drag it to the archive system on the right. Left click to release the data. And data will be uploaded automatically. After adding all the data to the archive system, click submit. <clears throat> I'm Agent Q from the Accident Investigation Department. Containment breach occurred at Pony Station and contact with the Foundation has been lost. Agent Bella Lawrence was given orders to enter Pony Station and retrieve the black box. Following is a transcript of the interview with Bella Lawrence. What? Oh, I'm Bella Lawrence. I got the black box. Let's go. How is this going to kill me? Blood pressure from 175 over 110. Experiencing mild convulsions. Administer a final aggressive metaphor to help control blood pressure. Bella? Bella? Me, Doc. The drugs seem to be taking effect. Go ahead and ask questions. I can't be certain how long she'll stay away from. Where's the black box, Sparrow? Uh, Three days ago, you were tasked with investigating the situation at Site 74, Pony Station. Yo, you were what's up? To retrieve the black Tuck? box. Now, out with it. How's it Where going? I hope you're having a good box? day. I... 
Oh, but I don't remember shit. Oh, I might remember something. I brought Thanks for the back. follow, Tuck. I brought the black box back. Don't lie to us. You never brought it back. No, that that's impossible. I fulfill my I assignments remember. to the fullest. You calling me a liar? My assigned task. You unknown I, officer? I swear. I shit. Oh, there's a black box is in my head. Uh, it got right, uploaded you know, it into my brain. This isn't an interrogation. We are not here to lay blame or point any fingers. Oh, now you're doing nice cop, bad cop then. Okay. Don't worry, I, I can play this game too. I brought the back box. Bella. Game looks good, man. It looks fun so far. I've only gone through one mission, but it, it has it definitely hope. Find that black box. We need to know I'm waiting for the interesting the stuff, though, when you start getting into the better SCPs, the more Please known ones. A mess at the moment. That's but so fine. far, I love it. We'll take it slowly, step by step. Why don't we start from the moment you received your mission? Tell us what you remember. Uh, I remember two people being a lot more nicer to me when I got my mission. And not being interrogated after I got up from fucking a coma, I'm assuming. Currently heading to mission site Site 74, Pony Station. We'll arrive in about three minutes. Isn't that the main? Good, Isn't Pony Station the main facility for a containment breach or rumored? SCP-701 experiments there have been ongoing. We have they had all stayed? No, breach. I don't. What is my mission? According to Foundation Security Regulation 709S. Each site must have a black box placed in a secure area to assist in identifying the cause of an accident, should one occur. Your task is to investigate the situation and retrieve the black box. Black box? Got it. I can get a black box. Not that difficult. Okay, I've arrived. Let's go. Hold shift to speed up. Yeah, it seems like my run speed does something. I'm able to observe the mission site from here, but it doesn't seem like one of the Foundation's secure facilities. Your mission. Officially known as Site 74, was originally a hydroelectric power station. After it was abandoned, the Foundation repurposed it as one of their sites. Initially, it was used yeah, to way. contain a few safe level anomalies. But recently, it's also taken over SCP-701. I don't know all the details. We won't know the truth until you retrieve the black box. I don't know what the point of Got going it. that way versus I'll that way was. Task as instructed and retrieve the black box. Oh, hello. Oh, I can only grab this thing. Can't counter. Humans in the area and calculate the reality bending rate and time. Reality Anchor. Facilitating humans surrounding area is one of the best weapons combating against reality bending and reducing psychological damage of an area. Y blocker. 60 milliliter per injection. Inject this blocker to stop neurotransmitters from having erratically as a from behaving erratically as a result unavoidable bending technology. Polaroid photo of a black cube, the object of the mission. Oh, there's collectibles. I don't think the first one had collectibles, to be honest. But I gotta look for collectibles now? I'm going this way. Collectibles. Oh, I'm gonna camp. I've just entered Pony Station. Retrieve the black box from the lab. Room 705. Pony station that sounds very familiar. Seventh floor. Sparrow. Moss. What's that? Bald Eagle. You're cutting out. Hey. Okay, we, we, need, we need to place this thing. This is out of the safe range. I'll place a reality anchor. There we go. Reality anchor set. Much better. Now let's find that elevator. <laughs> oh, it's mannequins. All personnel from duty shall not leave early. Personnel who cannot be on duty due to special circumstances shall promptly coordinate with the relevant site director. All personnel sh shall strictly comply with the prescribed regulations and rules. All personnel on duty shall fill in the inscription form truthfully and correctly. 
Spare room key to 101 plates under the flower pot in the visitor's lobby. Under the flower pot in the visitor's lobby. Could it be true? Has really performing comparison? I don't give a fuck. I've heard of this guy. A bit of an eccentric Dude, I a, and a thrill seeker. I got a quarter. Also, the art style is different. Box. Eh. Storage room. Can't do anything with that. Here's the flower pot. It's one of these three. Give me this one right here. Give me this one right here. I'm sorry, I'll put them back. I didn't mean to. Site 74, scene size, palace, fortress, monastery, boat, banquet hall. All the plans, including the project schedule that follows, have been disrupted. The actors of the whole site is theirs. They managed to procure a goddamn script from God knows where, and they've taken over my laboratory according My fucking painting. And Dr. Cooper, really? whatever his name is, particular, he puts on airs every time the operation starts as if everyone should listen to him. Does he think he is? I have to... This painting stayed up. What the? It's raining paper? WS to control the lever. Oh, it. Oh, it. Oh, oh. What? What? I don't know why I had to manually control that. I don't see any, so we continue. Fucking rats. Oh, there's raining. And a door I can't go in. Another mannequin. Oh, we're gonna jump scare me the second I climb through the window. Watch, well, it's gonna do something. Not really a jump scare, but it did something. If I climb over that, I'm gonna, like, die because the glass and shit. Oh well, worth it. Supplies, department store, whatever. More documentations. I don't like mannequins, to be honest. Or at least things that move when you're not looking. Like, not specifically 173, more like... Nah, eh, probably specifically 173 and some other things like that. Like, have you ever seen Doctor Who with Weeping Angels and shit? I just hate fucking paradoxes, though, so Weeping Angels are more scarier than just fucking moving when you're not looking at them. This must be the elevator. Paradoxes are a fucking horrible thing. Blood we offer to the hang king we serve. I serve my king with my blood. Blissful suffocation, sacrifice of sin. Oh, she's reading it. I didn't even hear it. Oh, no. Nah. Nope, there we go. Psychological. Psychological shit going on. Oh, great. Now I'm fucking dyslexic in game, too. Just what I wanted. <laughs> well, you have your radar out. Holy shit. Nice hand. I'm very familiar with cognito hazards. 
I've been trained to deal with them. But this wasn't anything like that. I couldn't breathe. It was like there was a knot tied around my throat. I was weightless, hanging, gasping. That was kind of cute. No matter how much I struggled, nothing helped. That does sound terrifying. But perhaps it was just a nightmare, though. Oh, just a nightmare. No. Fucking work for SP at the SCP Foundation. Not from this. I'm trying to think of a similarity with that, like the SCP Foundation seeing an anomaly, like, oh, it's just a nightmare. I need a, I need a place on an anchor. I guess I'm taking the stairs. No, I'm going this way. See what's over here. I still got collectibles. I feel like the stair it's gonna say the stairs are locked, aren't they? It's cool. locked. Good idea for trying to be smart and be like, I'm not going the right path. Never works out. Ever. What the Okay. You know what I want to play? That reminds me of Evil Within. I've played it before, and I loved it. Sorry, I didn't mean to take that. I, I didn't mean to take that out of your hand. You can have it back. You can have it back. Look at his other hand. It looks like he's holding his wiener. It looks like he's holding his wiener. What was that? Uh, I don't know what that was. Oh, you're gonna look at me too if I take this out of your hand? Oh no. Okay, you're a lot more nice. I'm sorry? I don't know what that was. Hello? Room service? I thought I was gonna fall through it. Hazard. Could it have something to do with SCP-701? The situation here is much more serious. What is 701? I don't want to look anything up, to be honest. I want to figure out as I go along. I think 701 might be the mannequins. <laughs> cool, nothing. Hey, another no, thanks. Stop looking at me, Jesus. I'm just doing my job, collecting shit. Requires round handle. Look at me too. Oh, I like that one. Is that the one that was sitting down? It wasn't. Oh, that would've been cool if it was the one that was sitting down. Another note. We don't need to read it, because I don't like reading. It's all very unusual these days. Many people have come to the site, but they haven't registered with the authorities. This random artifact. There's my round handle. One, two, three, four. I tried. Oh, the the dude's gone. Are you still here? You are. Oh. What? Get in there. I like the atmosphere of this one. The other one has a cool art style. The first one, the, the sandstorm one, and this one has a nice atmosphere to it. Why would Dr. Cooper need so many volunteers? Oh, are these all people? What on earth is this SC? Were the mannequins all people? Was that because there's like so many volunteers, so there's so many mannequins? I think so. People turned into mannequin. I think so. Ah, uh, uh, ah.
No. No one's here. No one's here. Just me. And the staircase. Finally, luck is on my side. This ought to get me to the seventh floor. Yeah, the seventh floor. The Hanged King's Tragedy. Rehearsal notice? Oh, wait, this is taking me to the seventh floor. I want to go the other way. Why would it count downwards? That's never the case. I told you, anytime I want to go not the right direction. Fourth floor again? Mm. The way out of here might have something to do with these. Places. Oh, okay, okay, I see now. I don't get what the clocks has to do with it, but... Maybe just sit it on the 9? Was it 9.38? Do I need to do that? Is it my actual time? I don't think so. I think I might just be sitting on the other hand. Because right now there's not a lot of clues for color coordination. make it look correct. That's what I gotta do. So this one, since it's all the way at 9, it would mean it's the second, or the minute. Is this a minute or a second hand? It seems very thin for a minute hand, but the minute hand, minute should be on 12. And if this one's just barely, it should be like 1 or 2. Hey, seven four. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go down to a different floor, actually. Can't. Game's out of everything. So why the immense frames all of a sudden? Maybe things loading in. I've uh, never seen such a we like our reality stable. What? What is going on? Look, look, look. It looks like he's giving a high five. Get it? There we go. Okay. Oh, it's... High five. He, he wants a high five. That's all it is. Fuck. People is creepy. It is kind of creepy. No, 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 no. Bella, are you feeling better now? <sighs> Suffocation, like a rope looped around my neck, pulling tight. I know tight. what's going on. Weightless, hanging, nothing around me, just my feet dangling. Struggling, fighting. I don't know what's Will going on. Me and make me cool. Fly. I don't understand Ella, what's going on. You are completely safe here. Nothing can hurt you. Okay. You want to bet? Continue. Grabs a fucking knife off the table the and stabs her. 
was much worse than expected. Much worse. I knew I had to get in touch with the Foundation. Uh, I managed to find a phone, and I called her back up. <sighs> this is Sparrow. This is another phone? Is it all linked? For Bald Eagle. I'm at Pony Station on the seventh floor. The situation here is much worse than expected. I need backup. Bella, are you sure this is actually what happened? What do you mean? Yes, of course I'm sure. Come on, Bella. Try and focus. What are you talking about? Bella, you never made that phone call. How do you know? Were you there? Of course I... What? Maybe you guys just I... didn't get it. What the fuck? Pony station was completely cut off. There was no contact with the outside world whatsoever. A phone call? That would have been impossible. No, I... But I saw... Oh, hey, dude. Tell us what you saw. I don't like Adrian X. Adrian X is dick. My fucking reality beacon. Really, dude? Oh, so much for exploring. So don't run to the right. You can't get me. What am I supposed to do? Attack on the center source. It's a wise to run. Oh, okay. So well, now I can make it. We all know how I love inconsistency. It was a cool part though, it sucked that the creature still got me when I was going the literal way I was supposed to go. Electricity needed, which way do I go? Oh fuck, which way do I go? It will stick in here. But I don't think I can go anywhere else. A nice forest. Some killed each other like bees. That damn me the right monster. This was all destined to happen when it pulled in that scripture. Everything that happened here is all Cooper's fault. It's their fault. This will be the last recording from the experiment. The hydropower plant will shut down forever. And no doubt my experiment. What is up with this SCP-701 experiment? Yeah, what the fuck is 701? Well, I understand if I read the documents. No, the mannequins are all gonna be outside the room now. Watch, they're gonna be right here. Oh, not gonna be here at all. I help you? Alright, I don't see anything else. I'm gonna shut the door. Oh, I can't close it. Oh! Thank you.
Sir? Sir, do you need medical attention? I am dialing 911. Sir, are you breathing? He's fine. Oh, another instability. For the last time I did it, the one guy spawned. Oh. Sir, you're okay! Are they all just gonna topple over? Yeah. Let's knock them all over. Collect that. Mm. Looks like we're getting close to everything, so I think we might be almost done with this mission. Hey, fuck you. Fuck you. Just knock everyone over. Oh, do they do they come back up? Oh, they do. I wanted to knock everyone over by the end of it. Why does it look like they're all going in the same place? Maybe because it doesn't look like it. Maybe because they are. Like they're all facing the same direction. It it can't be over. There's no way I missed one collectible. I probably missed the collectible. Big guy? The black box. Alright, what's gonna happen when I touch it? Where's the black box, the last collectible I need? Yeah, what's gonna happen? I'm still missing some things. I don't think I missed that much. I pretty much explored everything. Hey, it's my last collectible. Whenever I'm running, it sounds like there's someone running behind me. Sir, why would you do that? Jeez, you could have scared me. Like what, we're missing one more research log and three more scripts for rehearsal? There's no way I missed that much. I guess I missed that much, because this was the scene we saw on the way in. And watch, she's going to be holding the box in her hands. And they're like, you didn't bring the box up. What the fuck happened to it? It's like, I swear I brought it. Yeah, I swear. Oh, who would have thunk? It's the scene we already saw. Bella, we really need you to tell us the truth here. What do you mean? Mm. I'm this isn't real. The truth. This isn't Please real what's back. happening right now. I retrieved the black box from Pony Station. Looks like the cognito hazards really did a number on her. What are you talking about? I'm fine. Bella, there was no black box in sight when we found you. That's impossible. I'm positive. I, I know I had it in the escape elevator. And there is no escape elevator in Pony Station. None of what you're saying adds up. <laughs> That's impossible. It's just impossible. Look at me, Bella. Try and focus. What really happened? I don't think what's going on right now is real. Really? Happened? I think she might have been chirping a lot during the facility too, but I don't think I currently what is happening is real. I, yeah, that or they're gonna kill her right off, I, right, right out of the way. They're like, all right, you've seen too much. You know too much. Hey, did you see that? It, it, it rewound my achievement. It popped up in the bottom right corner of the achievement I got for the SE Fetal.
Ah, uh, I don't get what's going on. I don't get what's going on. I really don't. What is 701? Fuck. Not again. You're not gonna get me this time. You got me this time. That thing is so fucking loud. Also, I'm missing two more files. So I knew I was correct. I didn't miss it all. Also, I have no clue what the fuck she was saying. Like, literally just now. Oh, look at this. It's a cool scene. Guys getting pushed out of the way. They're all running for their lives. So I feel like 701's the big guy and then like these people are all running away because because I don't know they were chasing them and like if he touches you he like fucking eats your butt or something. Oh I hope they have the fucking the butt stabber toilet SCP in this. I'm gonna stab your butt. Or whatever it is. I'm also missing one more file. I really don't want to mess up and lose this one. It is just one more file. It's got to be like the last, like something at the very end. Be like, blood for the blood god or some shit. Come on. Got to be somewhere. Also, this seems like a chase sequence. Am I right? Oh. Where's more hanging people? Okay, sequence? Or just showing me something I've already seen. Oh, this, those are actual people. Those are actual people. CP 701. The Hanged King's Tragedy. Hey, it's for me. <laughs> Guys, it's my rope. Thank you. You saved me one. I can't believe you remember. You know I wanted to be part of performance. Do you have my last note? Can I have my last note? What the fuck? Hey, can I have my last note? Hey, can I have my last note, please? I'm missing one. Do you have my last Kill note? Sacrifice his head and seek redemption with his blood. Kill him! Kill Voice acting is incredible, by the way. Hey, mannequin. Goddamn cognito hazard again. I need to leave right now. I want my last. Thing. I might have missed it. I don't think it's gonna show up in this sequence. Are the animations supposed to be this choppy? Because I get their mannequins and all, but like. I'm just going to assume it's an artistic decision. We got to me one more. Give me this guy right here. Yep. Yeah, I can see right there. That's not choppy. The 
That's weird. All the animations are choppy and shit. Can I get my last note? Damn it. Yeah, I can't even pull my inventory. I think I missed it. So 701 is the act reenactment of the tragedy, the king's tragedy, whatever it was. I'm assuming, or is that SOP 701 the mannequin monster? Am I supposed to be this confused right now? With my blood, I serve my king. Blood for the blood god. With my blood, I serve my king. With my blood, I serve my king. With my blood, I serve my king. With my blood. I serve my king. With my blood. I love that they just the audio cut out. I'm just even more confused. I should have just died right there. Hey, Tatake. Her condition is unstable. I've just injected her with a sedative, but you need to let her rest for a while. I am Thanks, so doctor. confused. Well, let's go then. What? We haven't found the black box yet. You still don't get it, do you? I don't. What? What do you mean? A black box is merely a vehicle for recording the truth. But a black box isn't always a black box. You mean... That's right. She is now the black box. Okay, so I was right at the beginning. Got time it, for a cold got one? Because our work here is done. So it was. So it wasn't really fused into me. This game, off or drop. I'm enjoying it a lot. Plus, it's pretty cheap. I think it's like thirteen dollars on Steam right now on I sale. Serve my king with my blood. I've only gone through two missions, Blissful but for what I've seen so far, I like it. Sacrifice of sin. It definitely gives you that feel of SCP of you don't know what the fuck's going on, you just know it's something bad. The black box has been properly contained at site one oh five and pending further investigation. Above is the full record of the inquiry. Alright, here we go. King, King's strategy is a five-act revenge strategy from the Caroline era. Points of the play. Alright, this goes in the description. A typical case study of SCP-701 incident took place on March 27, 2009. That is indeed a valuable question, sir, but according to our investigation of Villa, the data is no longer uh, consider complete the black box is only reliable recording containing the entry entity of research content. She's the sole complete database of SO1. How's the first mission, Carl? I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be truthful. I was confused as shit, but I got it. So 701 is not the mannequins, it is the. The tra the King King strategy play, which like summons mannequins or something. Falcon Knight for celebration. So are we losing a living being as a tool to contain anomalous objects? My guy, you you got so much to learn. Been great many field agents. And pretty second skill set any time in order to complete a task. Secure, contain, protect. For the greater good. 
So then is a creed worth paying the ultimate price for? And is our duty to record all of this truthfully and honestly so that people may ruin them forever? I understand. Anyway. Believe you first mentioned smoothly, we should celebrate. Oh, we get a drink. Old place? Count me in. Fuck it. Party out. What a taco night. Or a donut night? So I had a celebration of my first ever archive mission. My colleagues threw a small party. I started to grow on me, my colleagues in this place. I started to really enjoy all of it. Maybe it was all of the drinking. I dreamt I was lost in a strange cave. It was dark and damp and smelled of decay. In the, in the depths of the darkness, I saw all... At all times, two red dots, monitoring my every move with a strange... What a strange dream. Takula is too strong of a drink. I need espresso to sober me up. We'll do one more mission. Oh, we're not talking to my friends anymore. 660. Object class, unknown. Special containment procedures, unknown. Description, unknown. Classified as safe. 6601. Alright, let's see. Really fought with the height of yada yada, but if... Not to be fooled by experience, an organism womb, yes, an unearth an earthen womb may be safely stored in a standard safe deposit box. Provided its mouth remains covered with inert percep perspex disc and sealed with a tamper proof tape. SCP one four three. This is all my job is to fill out, fill out the archives. Safety regulations. 261. Use 261 at a high frequency. Then times for 24 hour period when you the value exceeding the value of 500 Japanese yen. The food or drinks, nothing else. How awful. Let's call it at an end. So it's five minutes to four o'clock now. It's about ready. Yeah, you not coming? Nah. Doesn't suit me. Wait, are you forgetting someone? Uh, going to attend the monthly lecture. Monthly lecture? The lecture that happens monthly, Carl. Each month, the Foundation invites someone famous to hold a lecture to share new knowledge and insights, planning to SCP for this month's lecture about Dr. Trevor. A high reputation within the Foundation. Interesting, count me in. All right, loading, 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 loading. There are many stories in this world. Some are read widely all over the world. Some are hidden in dust and known Dude, only a by a handful ad. of people. Today I'm going to tell you a story no one else has heard before. A real story of mystery and wonder and adventure. Nice board, and dude. And then you too will become the guardian of this story. The story takes place in a world what of is that? long Daniel ago. Daniel and Dragon? The hero of our story is a little boy. 
His name is Daniel. Interesting start. One day, out of also nowhere, a different art style. Daniel got a serious case of chicken pox. It made him look like a strawberry. To make sure he didn't spread it to others, Mrs. Page, the principal, had him isolate in an attic. And so, in the attic he lived, all on his own. Mr. Daniel, while up here in this attic, you'll have plenty of time to practice your penny whistle. Okay. I hope you practice well and prepare for next month's art festival. But Mrs. Page, what is going on? Is this so this is a completely different game? Don't give up, boy. You don't give up before you fight. Daniel was reluctant at first, but he trusted Mrs. Page, and he knew he should listen. And so he practiced the penny whistle. Oh, fuck me. ASDF space. Okay, I can do this. This is a completely different game. <laughs> We've gone from first person story to another first person story to a rhythm game with a child art style. Suddenly, he heard some strange noises in the corner of the attic. Huh? Who's there? Daniel decided I love to rhythm go games, over and take a look. I just can't ever play them because almost all the music is copyrighted, but... Again, love the art style. No clue what the fuck's going on. Oh. Oh, this is a nice art style. Oh, I'm enjoying this a lot. It was a mouse trap, and there was a red origami paper dragon inside of it. Nice looking origami dragon. Daniel carefully removed it. It was marvelous and beautiful. The only problem was part of its wing was damaged. But Daniel found a way to repair it. Just crumpled it in his hand. We find out Daniel's a psychopath. Uh, we will choose an item to repair the dragon. I want to choose. Yeah, this. Daniel held the repaired paper dragon high, high up in the air. Yeah, what, what the fuck was the pencil going to do? Imagining that it soared over all the world below. I kind of want to know what a pencil does now. He played and played with the paper dragon. Wee! Woo! Dragon! Soar! What is he, three? Yeah. Those literal just words in and not actual sentences. Afternoon sun, Dragon. Daniel had Sword. to fight his eyelids just to Dragon keep them fast. open. Is it could it be? Or is this all just a dream? You're just tripping, man. The next day he took some fucking fat shrooms. Weighing him down, he began to fiddle with the old radio. Earthquakes not common with 17 fault zones? It's like disaster waiting to happen. A scrunched up ball of paper. It's just one goes off, feet. and I'm pretty sure she's fucking chain reaction after that. Where did this paper ball come from? Just as Daniel went to pick it up, the ball oh suddenly my God, came to life. And it Daniel's away. fucking awesome. Daniel the, the, after where it. did the ball come from?
What is going on? It I'm gonna get you. Oh, oh what is it? Oh. Oh. oh, I finally got it. Just as he was about to seize the rolling paper ball, suddenly terrible sparks erupted from it. Before its very eyes, the paper ball began to grow bigger and bigger. What is At going moment, on? A red figure suddenly appeared. The red figure quickly subdued the paper ball and threw it into a cardboard box. Daniel studied the red figure carefully. It had a sticker on its fluttering wing. It was the paper dragon. I wasn't what? dreaming. Is going is on. Daniel was grateful and very happy. He walked closer to the paper dragon, but the paper dragon seemed timid and afraid and backed away. Just then, Daniel had an idea. I'm only gonna play the flute for him. He took out his penny whistle and slowly played a tune. And professional gamer. dragon enjoyed the sound very much. It began to move along with the rhythm, flipping up and down in the air. Soon the two were playing and dancing, just like old friends. How is this an SCP game right now? How is this an SCP game? <laughs> Dragon traced out a beautiful arc in the air, communicating with Daniel in a unique way. My cherished friend, after many long years, we finally meet again. Tell me, we meet again. How has your family been? A great thank you for playing that music for me. What the fuck is going on? I didn't mean to peek, to be honest. I thought it would be quieter, but what the fuck is going on? The piece of paper then changed back into the shape of a paper dragon and flew into the cardboard box. The box closed shut, and a calm silence was restored to the attic. rushed to find a watercolor pen and marked the box with excitement in his fingertips. Here. B. Dragons. Over the next few days, the paper dragon came out often to play with Daniel. During this time, Daniel introduced many of his friends to the paper dragon. This isn't an SCP game. My cat's name is Mrs. Carter. 
Ever since I secretly fed her some fish for dinner, we've been good friends. That's Duke, Mrs. Jessica's pet. He doesn't like rainy days, or Mrs. Carter. Only smoked sausages for his pet. And now, we are friends too. My name is Daniel, what's your name? The paper dragon flapped its wings, as if it didn't understand him. Hmm. Well, since you like the sound of the penny whistle so much, I'm gonna call you I Penny. I'll call you Penny. I'll keep practicing to make it sound better. Daniel and Penny then played baseball together in the <laughs> attic. He throws the baseball and knocks it out of the sky. It's dead. Yeah, oh, I wanted to hit him. Go out the window. Oh, I can't even throw that far. All right, you ready for this? Good dragon. But just as they were in the middle of enjoying themselves, a violent shaking suddenly rose from the ground. My ball. Well, who would have thought? Moment, the box suddenly shot open, and thick clouds of smoke billowed out, followed by several paper balls. Followed by two. Penny attacked the paper balls without a moment's hesitation, and promptly threw them back into the box. Penny then flew around in front of Daniel, and rushed right back into the box. As the box closed, the earthquake stopped. Facing a friend's farewell without a formal goodbye, Daniel felt confused and lost. We went from a man he moved the box to trapped the in a desert. The not trapped. He wasn't Facing technically it, was trapped because he, he couldn't leave. Penny whistle, day we went from a man trapped in the desert, out. being consumed by cable wires and being burned alive. Assumingly burned alive, he could have been dead in there. To a girl of swearing a facility. Becoming an anomaly herself. By, Daniel's playing became smoother. To a children's book of a boy and an origami dragon. Two very dark themes. One day. One the very light theme. To move. One of these themes doesn't seem like the other. One of these things uh -huh. just doesn't belong. One. Four? This time there were four paper dragons. But they weren't alone. Enemies began to jump out of the box too. fought fiercely against the paper balls. Why does it sound like I'm about to fight a Dark Souls this boss? Time, the paper balls use new tactics. They come together into a single monstrous ball of paper. It began to shoot strong bursts of electric sparks at the paper dragons as they flew through the air. As they were hit, the paper dragons fell from the air, one after the other. What is going on? Seeing the injured paper dragons, Daniel felt very distressed and anxious. Just then, one of the paper dragons painfully started to fall and gathered the remainder of its power. The paper dragon transformed into a great beam of light and go straight down to pierce through the monstrous paper ball. And then came another paper dragon. The monstrous paper ball was plastic to things. They slowed into smaller paper balls. Trembling, they struggled to escape back from the box. 
the sacrificed paper dragons were reduced to swirling shreds of paper, and a silence pervaded. Peace and tranquility were restored so once again to the attic. I care so much Daniel about the paper saw the dragon. remaining it's two so paper sad. dragons lying on the floor. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Wounded. I don't. He rushed to grab some stickers and treated them at once. Suddenly, countless paper dragons began to gush from the box. The two wounded paper dragons were repaired. I think I know this anomaly. I think fly. it's a safe anomaly. Like two which is why it's threads, a pretty tame story. The other dragons, flying in I think it's literally just origami paper dragons. The dragons moved like a tide, flying freely through the attic. Daniel eagerly Let's took go. out his penny whistle. What I'm here for? He showed all his paper dragon friends this is what the I was results made for. of his hard work and practice. It's so loud. It's so loud. Why? Set the whole mission. So loud. We'll just turn one of the mass volume down just some. It's still really loud. What do you mean I miss that? I hit it. He just wanted me to miss more than one. Of his playing, Daniel felt himself enter into the world of dragons. The more I play, letter, and the more confused I get. To tell their story. After the last war, the fantasy world enjoyed a long spell of peace and stability. But now, the giants have returned. They have launched ferocious attacks, trying to invade your world. Then we will have to destroy your room, for it is the last remaining entryway into your world. Please believe, this farewell will only be temporary. We will not be apart forever, and we will never forget our eternal mission of protecting you.
At that moment, the paper dragons flew back into the box. I see an explanation. Daniel still couldn't fully understand one what the paper dragons had meant, but he had a vague feeling in his heart that he may never see his new friends again. What do you mean? It literally just said it's not going to be the last time. You don't trust your friends? A few days later, Daniel's chicken pox had fully recovered. He could now play the penny whistle very, very well. But the paper dragons never returned. Maybe it was time to leave and move on. Maybe it was time for an explanation. Just then, countless paper dragons shot from the cardboard box. However, it seemed like they were under attack, spinning and falling through the air in confusion. Let it go, we gotta go, we gotta go. Oh shit, they're blo they're dying. We gotta hurry, soldiers. The fight's not over. It's only just begun. We're almost there. Keep pushing forward. See, even if Daniel dies at this point, he died to a mass of paper crumpled balls. defeated, Daniel spotted a frail figure in the distance. It was Penny. It flew gently in front of Daniel and affectionately rubbed its head against his fingers as if this whole crisis had never happened. Daniel felt like Penny was trying to tell him something, but he didn't quite understand what. Penny then left Daniel and soared into the air with a I'm having an existential crisis. I have not said much in Suddenly, like the past the other 30 minutes. Seemed to be they flew through the air, all together in unison, and he was responding to the call without an ounce of hesitation. At that 
moment, the penny turned into a great red bean and rushed fast towards the giant. Another dragons followed, shining together like a shooting star. At that moment, Daniel seemed to see a real dragon fly. No! I don't understand. What is going on? A huge explosion from the impact drowned out everything else in the attic. The attic rained down with countless pieces of paper, the leftover scraps of the paper dragons. Daniel wanted to collect all of the pieces. He thought he could still fix them. Am I missing a piece somewhere? Oh god, I can. There we go, put the dragons back together. I got this. You not see me in the first mission? And then Daniel's like, I don't know how to do origami, to be honest. I'm trying to get in contact with someone and I'm unable to. Alright, sorry. Don't worry. festival was held as scheduled. Daniel attended the show with his penny whistle. Well, I have to play it one another fucking time. And now, Daniel Trevor will perform a penny whistle solo of a song titled Fly With Me. This story has left me with so many fucking questions that I don't even know what to ask. I got this. Let's go. God Gamer over here. God Gamer. It's still so loud, dude. Why is it still so loud? It's not turning it down at all. The master volume doesn't work. Watch, I'm gonna turn it to zero and it's still gonna be volume.
Master volume at zero, by the way. Well, if it doesn't work, just fucking turn it back up again, I guess. That's how the story ends. Now, you might be I can't hear you, sir. I can't hear you. Daniel's going fucking ham on this flute whistle. Penny whistle, whatever the fuck. That's a difficult question to answer. Sir, I have no clue what you're saying. That they are still protecting us somewhere in this world, just like they promised they would forever into eternity. Well, I'm gonna fucking leave that there. I am so confused. But, uh, I thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.